Roku versus your Amazon Fire TV. Which one of these devices reigns supreme when it comes to the streaming market? So over the past couple years, I've got a lot of requests to do a side-by-side -side comparison between Roku and Amazon Fire TV. So no matter which side of the fence you're on, just know that both devices has pros and cons, a lot of features built in, and probably more similarities than differences. So this video, I'm gonna quickly compare the two. I'm gonna give you my opinion, which one I think is a best option. In the comment section, let me know which device you're currently using, and let me know which one you think is a better option for cutting the cord. Now, before we jump into today's video, big shout out to today's sponsor, Blue Nexus. Blue Nexus is a cordless wall climbing smart pool cleaner that employs advanced path cleaning technology to clean your entire pool from edge to edge. Now, this includes walls, floors, water line, and everything in between. Now, Blue Nexus comes with four cleaning modes, smart cleaning, floor cleaning, wall cleaning, and all around cleaning. Now these modes allow you to tailor to your cleaning preference. Now the smart cleaning uses the GeoGuru technology, which is a propriety 3D pool mapping, planning, and navigation system to independently plan the optimal cleaning route in a spiral path until the entire bottom of the pool is clean. Now this system is also equipped with underwater ultrasonic and infrared laser integrated ranging sensors and an underwater slam algorithm. Now both of these were developed in house and tested for precise and complete cleaning. Now the Blue Nexus pool cleaner comes with a 100 watt high performance suction motor. This motor has the absorption rate of up to 17 cubic meters per hour. Its powerful suction capability ensures that a lot of water is being moved through the waste baskets, thus effectively cleaning debris and dirt. Once the cleaner is done, simply empty the waste basket and put the cleaner back on the charger. To find out more about the Blue Nexus Coreless Wall Climbing Smart Pool Cleaner, please check the link in the description. All right, so before we jump into it, let's get some of the housekeeping things out of the way. So both devices are affordable. Um, lowest end devices, we're starting about $30 with the Fire TV Stick Lite and also the Roku Stick. So most of the times you're gonna get those for under $30, no ifs, ands, and buts. And what that will do is actually get you in the market. Both is gonna have access to thousands of applications, including major ones. Uh, we all know about YouTube TV, YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, we have Hulu. So when it comes to the app, applications just know that both are going to give you a lot of options if you're into the major apps the ones that are commercialized you can see a lot of them right here you are going to be safe going either way next is going to be the speed so speed is going to vary based on your device but what i find is that no matter which route you go if you were to get some of the newest roku streaming devices compare them to the newest fire tv devices they're going to be equally as responsive hard to really put them side by side and pick a winner just know that especially with the newer devices both are going to be properly matched with the respective operating systems so another thing that's worth talking about is the remote most devices except for the cheapest roku device and the cheapest fire tv stick, both are going to offer volume and power options both are going to offer input options if you paired it with a television you should be able to do the job fine except for some of those budget low-end devices and last but not least when it comes to models you can go crazy all day just going over the different types of roku stick roku 4k streamers fire tv stick fire tv stick light fire tv stick cube so just know that there are multiple devices to choose from find a budget that fits you find the remote option that fits you and then you can move forward so let's go ahead and jump into the meats of the comparison and we'll go ahead and we'll start out with roku what roku is best at in my opinion is the menus Roku's menus are pretty straightforward, no nonsense, upfront, everything's in place, messing around, especially when you're on home screen, you find what you want to get to, click on it, and you're all set. On the other hand, I do think that Fire TV over the past couple years have made a lot of improvements with their menus. Um, they move a lot of things around. Now you can see they have a floating menu that goes up. But what I find is that once you leave <laughs> this area right here, which is customizable for the most part, once you go down here, you're pretty much in no man's land. You're going through different app recommendations, kind of gets clunky as you can see there. And it's just recommended different applications that you might not be interested in. So uh, if you're looking for something that's simple, that's easy to follow, I would say the Roku menu system is a lot easier to follow, is a lot simple, it's less clunky. And I think that's why a lot of people like it. Like it, 
doesn't necessarily mean it's the best looking menu as you can see there i do think they can do something aesthetically i do think that it, it's basic but again that's why people like it easy to get in easy to get to what you need as far as searching getting to your content i do feel like amazon has this hands down and i do credit a lot of this to the redesign because now essentially you can search in one area you can search for anything you want right in this box and if it relates to a TV show, a movie, an application, a game, it will automatically pop up, which I think it's awesome. Now, Roku, on the other hand, I do find the search to be pretty non-reliable. I really can't say that I use it as much. They do have a voice function on the remote, but when it comes down to just searching for what you need, whether it's by using Alexa or using the Roku menus, my opinion is that Roku is just uh, falling behind the Fire TV stick. I, I just like the updates that Amazon pushes more and I do think that their search is more accurate. All right, so what about you guys that want to be able to listen to your content without bothering everyone else? So uh, fortunately, both of these streaming platforms, they offer uh, different ways to connect to your actual headphones, your earbuds or whatever the case is. Roku, uh, I found that they been doing something really cool for a while where they actually included a headphone jack into the remote on certain models of course that way you can just simply plug in and then you can listen to the content privately if you download the roku app you should be able to use your headphones from your phones to your headphones and then listen to whatever is being played so i think that was a cool integration so amazon on the other hand while they don't have a lot of ways to listen to content like roku may have one of the easiest methods more universal is actually just using a bluetooth headphone the fire stick does have a bluetooth settings where you can go ahead and connect any bluetooth enabled headphone listen to your content privately, and it works just as well. So both platforms have a really cool application, in my opinion. The Roku Remote app really does a good job just getting you around the system. Um, cool features in there as well, but I personally, I like the Fi TV application a little bit better. Not only do I get to navigate, but also I can use voice function. I have a manual keyboard that I can use to search. I actually feel that the Fire TV app is a lot better and I've used it to get out of a lot of jams in the past. And one more thing I want to mention is third party applications. Uh, Roku, they do have a developer options where you can enable that. Uh, if you're a developer, you can go in and uh, load the application and try it out. But it's not the same as it is on the Fire TV. On the Fire TV, you click a couple buttons, download a certain app, then you can go anywhere you want download any android application and you'll be good to go in minutes so fire tv wins when it comes to installing third-party applications my final thought on this is that both platforms are going to have multiple devices you can choose from uh, hard to really nitpick device from device they're all going to have low-end devices are going to have mid-tier and somewhat high-end devices so it really depends on your budget and what you're looking for both also are integrated into television sets so you can buy roku tv with roku os already built you can buy a fire tv television set with the amazon fire os uh, already built in so you can get these already pre-built into your television sets. If you're someone who likes something with a simple user interface that's easy to get around, um, straightforward, no BS menus, not clunky, um, Roku might be for you. Like I said, this is what it looks like. Download the application right there in front of your face. You can watch what you want to watch and it's not clunky. Fire TV is going to win a lot of other categories. I love, even though the Roku UI is more um, straightforward i do love the the look and the feel of the fire tv os might be a little bit clunky but you do have some options when it comes to customizing what you're looking at and i do feel like the ui looks more modern um, search is going to be a big win for the fire tv in my opinion and of course the option to install third-party application give the fire tv stick a huge win overall if i had to pick one i would pick Amazon Fire TV OS over Roku. Let me know if you agree with my assessment as far as which device you think is a better OS and let me know why. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.